We are now learning this Vasemis from the second night of Pesach, 5731. We say in the Agodi, If our Kodesh Baruch Hu would have split for us the ocean sea, and he would not have crossed us over in the dry land. <laughs> Simply spoken, it would mean that it should have been muddy. That's the way it would usually be, even if the water's left. But it says that the main wonder was that they went inside the yam and it was still dry because it was only the water that had left it. It's not that great a wonder because Hakadosh Baruch Hu can make water and ha- have it move away. But he showed his love to Klai Yisrael by making an extra effort that it should be, it, it, even though they're in the ocean, they'll see the ocean from both sides, as Chazal tell us there were 12 ways through the ocean. They saw water to the right, water to the left. They had fountains of water to drink from. But they were on dry land. And that, that which B'nai Yisrael were able to change the teva, meaning that Kodesh Baruch showed him we, from this point on, it's in the hands of Kal Yisrael to change the nature of things, to bring Kedusha through their work. And that's what it means, and he took us through it, Becharovo, heavy Ronu. We didn't go by ourselves. As an added thought here, we were taken through it, Becharovo, because HaKadosh Baruch made it easy for us. He brought the Kedusha to us, just like when he took us out of Mitzrayim, he elevated us from the Memtes Shari Tumah, from the 49 levels of Tumah to the 49 levels of Kedusha. In the Zohar HaKadosh, they asked the question, why HaKadosh Baruch Hu praises, so as to speak, himself with the coming out of Mitzrayim. He promised it to our Ovis. Why is it, in other words, in a sense, deserving of more accolades than a fulfillment of a promise to the Ovis? It says it 50 times in the Torah. In fact, this is what the Gura tells us. And uh, they had difficulty finding all 50 times until they had the, the computer. It says, so, Tiyahu Hashem me'erz mitzrayim. And the, the Zohar answers, because it was from the ability of 50 years of Cherus. That there's a, there's a concept that Yovel, the Jubilee year, represents freedom. And somehow that was attached to the ability of Klai Yisrael to go out from its Mitzrayim because of the concept that you're able to freeze people. And that koach, that power, was utilized to free Klai Yisrael from the Egyptians. This still needs more elaboration. It could be, the Svasem says, because Be'emes, in truth, all of God's Mitzrayim was for the, for the was in a sense, to better Klai Yisrael and to to verify because I could that and to certify that which I could both promise the Ovois that they will go out with great wealth. The wealth didn't mean necessarily temporal wealth, physical wealth, but spiritual wealth. And therefore I could who caused them to go all the way to the bottom depth. Now here I'll add my own thoughts and let's see if this Vasemis will say that in order to ele- be able to elevate everything. If we could be taken out from the bottom level, then we could elevate everything in the world, because that's how that far down we were. And it says they were in the Mem Teshayi That's what they say, when we say, if our Kodesh Baruch Hu would not have taken us out, we too would be there. Why? Because we would have entered the 50th level of Tuma that we could not be redeem- redeemed anymore. Or using the idea that just was just mentioned, 
that he took us down to Memtez so that we could elevate ourselves from there at all times, we, perhaps in our generation, find ourselves confronted with Memtez Shari and we have to overcome them, and we can only do it because we were able to do it in Yitzhiyus Mitzrayim. And therefore, when we were redeemed, it was given to Yisrael all of the understanding and that of what makes up the world till the 50th level. Because when HaKadosh Baruch Hu creates anything, there has to be choice, and there has to be the balance. And the balance has to be that if in the world has an existence of 49 levels of Tumma, or 50 levels of Tumma, there has to be the level, 50 levels of Kedusha. And that's why it says, Hashem Alekai, if lo yisecho, machshavu yisecho eleinu. We say that from the Posik, Hashem, our God, your wonders and your thoughts are to us. Not only your wonders, but your thoughts as well. How to make it so that we should be able to redeem ourselves. Because all that we entered and we were buried in the mud of the Tumah was for our future goodness. It's more than I could have promised our poor fathers. Because it would have been enough. One Sora, going to what he, being a Mitzrayim, we could have gone to one level of Tuma. But he took us down 49 levels, 50 levels, and he brought us up 50 levels. So in a sense, we had 50 redemptions. At any level we find ourselves, we can redeem ourselves. That's why it says, the Chamushim Olabnei Yisrael. The translation of a chamushim usually is the simple translation is one fifth out of four out of five, one out of five left Mitzrayim, as it says in the Zohar Kodesh in B'shalach B'tukunim. But here he means the Sfasemis wants to say that chamushim is fifty, not one fifth, one fiftieth. But it means that everybody was able to elevate themselves from the lowest level of fifty miles of tumah to the highest level of 50 miles of Kedusha. And that's how the Svas Emes explains, It's HaKadosh Baruch who took us out. We have to recognize that he made it possible, he made it easier. And although at times it seems difficult, we have to utilize and know that HaKadosh Baruch will help us. Now, why do you read Shehashim at Pesach? Shehashim is read on Shabbos of Cholamoyed, or when that is impossible, you do it on the last day of Pesach, when there's no Shabbos Cholamoyed, or, or actually Pesach, the last day of Pesach. Uh, you know, right, there's no Cholamoyed in, in Eretz Yisrael. There's no Shabbos Cholamoyed. The first day could be Shabbos. And he says, well, and we also say Shir Hashim after the Haggadah at night. Shir Hashim is to explain that all of the world is only a simile to understand the love that we have to give to our Kodesh Baruch Hu. The Baal Shem Tov, the Yitzhak Levoch, is Chuzer Yon Aleinu. He explains whenever we have a love for something, we have an appreciation for something, we have a recognition of something, we should utilize it to recognize it. God's hand in everything. And that's the Pirush and Shia Shirim. They recall of all the songs in the world. This Shir came out. It's a compilation of all the songs. But a person has to be attached to that which is mentioned in the Shia Shirim. And it should it's difficult that everything will be only Fakurish Baruch. He means to say that one cannot assume that he'll be able to comprehend from the from the the, the every aspect of the world at times when we become too involved in this world we can't see it all how it has anything to do with Kedusha and therefore Pesach was given to us a time of Chir Hussein to recognize that we are free in a certain sense a sense which no one can take away from us. A person can learn the Rotson Hashem even from nature. Because 
you you see the inner aspects of the world which are meant to glorify Hashem. Therefore, we say Shir Hashir specifically on Pesach. It means Hashem in the next Shir will learn about some Achidas Matzah, why it's a Rishuz, and some more thoughts of the Svasemis on the second day of Pesach.